to meet me. And they said, Shandra. And I said, what? They said, Shandra, would you like to deliver the welcome for the evening? I said, well, let me run over to my closet, pull out my white suit, my white hat, and my best Olivia Pope voice I told him is him. So tonight, I'm so thrilled to join the Madison Rivers in welcoming each of you to this momentous occasion here tonight. This is a celebration of who we are as LGBTQIA plus people and allies. Give everyone a round of applause. It is so important to be able to celebrate because all across the country, so many things need to be fixed. That's why I'm dressed as Olivia Pope, okay? okay. There's so many things. Women's rights are under attack. In Florida, you can't say gay. In across the country, in places, there's anti-trans legislation. In my home state of Texas, there are different, you know, conversations about trying to ban drag queens in front of children. What? And I'm an uncle. I'm from Texas. I'm a proud black person from Texas, and I'm a proud drag queen. <laughs> And drag queens, I like to say, belong everywhere, yes. especially in the residence of the vice president. <laughs> so tonight is wonderful. And isn't it so wonderful to have an advocate on your team, to have someone who believes in equality, who believes in equal rights, and who believes in progression for all of our communities, especially for someone who believes with us that the LGBTQ plus community belongs in a visible place. Yes. This is what visibility looks like. Amen. So I'd like to say thank you so much to Madam Vice President yes. Kamala Harris and the second gentleman for inviting us into their home. Yes. And with that, speaking of people on the forefront of activism, I'd like to introduce to you our speakers first for this evening. Coming to you now who have been at the forefront of the fight against The inclusion of drag queen Shangela in the event raises controversy particularly due to allegations of sexual assault against them. Shangela's choice to deliver a welcome speech is seen as emblematic of a broader trend favoring identity politics over accountability for wrongdoing. It's crucial to analyze the event's impact on public perception of politicians and their management of sensitive issues. The emotional response stirred by Shangela's speech among LGBTQ advocates and dissenters warrants attention. We must delve into how the event elicits feelings of unity, empowerment, or unease, and the potential for skepticism or outrage in response. Moreover, we must examine the intersection of identity, sexual assault, and how it shapes public opinion, and the psychological dynamics within political spheres and societal movements.